Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to the studio. You know, I posted those last couple videos kind of detailing the studio and going over everything. And I got some questions about all the guitars on the wall. So, you know, a few years back, I did a series called Meet My Guitars. And I went through and I did a video about each guitar. I'm not gonna do that again, but I'm gonna do a quick like 2023 version. I'm just gonna go around and show you all the guitars real quick because I did get a couple questions about that. So let's switch to behind the camera and we'll come over this way. So the first one, this is my Fender uh, Main Japan Jazz Bass. It's a reissue of a 72 Jazz. Um, plays great, had a few modifications. Uh, love that bass. And this is my, another Fender Japan. This is a, 60, a re reissue of a 62 P bass. So again, plays great. Both of these basses are fantastic. These were my main basses that I played back when I used to gig. Um, this is my Music Man. Um, it's an actual Music Man, not an Ernie Ball. If you look, I don't know if you can see that. It actually has the Music Man logo. However, when I got it, the neck was trashed. So the neck was replaced with a status neck. So it's not a Music Man neck, but it is an actual Music Man base. This one here is my Dan Electro. It's a uh, Dan Electro 63 reissue, I believe. And uh, short scale plays great. Right here, my Yamaha FG series acoustic. I've had this thing forever. This was actually my first acoustic guitar and I've still got it. It's been played to death. This is my Gibson SG Special. Love this thing. Love, love, love. Probably my favorite guitar I've ever owned. This here is my Epiphone Les Paul Classic. And this is the series that they didn't make for very long, the Classic series, because they actually were um, too good. <laughs> so they had really, really high quality stuff. This one's been gutted. All new electronics, so it, it'll hang with any Gibson. Um, this is, here is my Gibson Les Paul Jr. So there you go, love this thing. Again, heavier than heck, just a big old, you know, canoe paddle. Uh, this is my Recording King Parlor guitar. I did an actual video when I unboxed this several years ago. This is my Casio Digital guitar. I did a video about this one as well. Great little thing, a little throwback to the 80s. This is my Fender Duosonic from the 1990s. It's got quite a bit of wear on the fretboard there. You can see this thing plays fantastic. This is my tenor banjo, again, a made in Japan instrument. I love those Japanese instruments. Um, I did a video about that when I unboxed it and I keep that Wambuka pad on there to keep the volume down just a little, helps with some of the overtones. This is my Carver banjo kit that I built a while back. Did a whole series on that. This is my Macalla Shark uh, soprano ukulele. This here is my um, pineapple ukulele. It's a divisor pineapple ukulele. I did a review of that. This is the Devil's Uke, I call it. It's a kit that I built. This here is the banjo lily that I got from uh, my sisters for my last birthday. This here is my Mitchell Concert Ukulele. And over here we have my Camise uh, Tenor Ukulele. I call this one the Cowboy Uke because I think it looks like it has like a cowboy pattern on it. Anyway, and then finally over here is my Boondocker from Jaraman. This is a Dulcitar. And so there you go. That is everything that's on the wall. Thank you, flipping it back again. Thank you for tuning in guys. We'll talk to you guys soon.